Welcome to Northern Seoul. Just thought I'd do a vlog because I was telling myself I'd do more of these. Like, I don't know. I was, <laughs> the goal was uh, one a day, but that's not going to happen, is it? Um, so I'm just going to be here and there. I thought I'd sit down and talk about pretty much nothing. Like the best things in life. Um, so I'm going to be talking to, I don't know, my subscribers. <laughs> I've got, obviously, a a small platoon right now of, uh, of subscribers but uh, hopefully that builds over time if uh, people are interested, if, it, if not, nah, whatever, I don't really care just doing this for fun anyway uh, until it, you know, it's not fun anymore and then I'll just quit, I guess but it's something new for me I just switch from hobby to hobby anyway so um, yeah, waiting for um, my guitar amp to warm up and what <laughs> so it sounds like one of those um if you've seen those ads for a little while back on youtube if you watch a lot of youtube where uh, the guy comes on and says oh yeah just out in my garage here you know i was doing a selfie i got my lamborghini here oh it's amazing drive up in the hills or whatever oh man i was thinking how many people are watching this going pratt you know uh it's like where's the skip button skip that shit you know i hate that guy and now there's like a new one I noticed as I'm putting up stuff and it's in front of some of my videos and I'm like, oh my god, it's like five minutes it's like longer than some of my videos talking about, yeah man you just hook up into my show or whatever I don't even know these technical terms, I don't, I don't care and I was like, yeah man, sign up for this or whatever I'll show you how to become uh, amazingly rich or whatever everything's like become rich and do it my way how many of us like do anything what other people tell us right i mean that's why they're probably standing in front of someone else's pool in in their mansion that they just hop the fence on and then start hey, look, look, there's a mansion right there it's hopping people are away on vacation you know we'll record it and then people just eat into that right because they see it in the background they'll be like oh i wouldn't mind that and uh, who's, the, <laughs> who's the best looking one in our group? All right, put him in front, right? And then you'll see um, we'll have a, a bunch of other videos too coming up with like girls. I'm sure they're the same. They're probably the same group because they're all like, oh yeah, it's a laptop, laptop lifestyle. <laughs> I think we're already doing that, aren't we? We're just not getting paid for it. Um, yeah, other people telling you how it's going to work work for them, right? It's like your parents telling you, I don't know if a lot of you have ever had, if you ever try to chase your dreams. I know when I was young, it was cool. It's like, oh, what do you want to be? Uh, I think I want to be an astronaut. I want to be an astronaut because you're going into space. And this is back in the day when it was like Star Wars and Buck Rogers and all that was was new. And we're talking like episode four. Uh, four, five, and six, right? Return of the Jedi. What, what are you complaining about? Hey, you want to get on camera? You get your own video. You need your own channel. That was just Rio in the background. If you hear whinging, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, back in the day, you'd be like, oh man, I'm going into space and like, you know, but you want to be a ninja, shit like that, right? Um, but then it's like a space shuttle blew up. Not funny, but uh, then you know, became less cool to be an astronaut. I guess at that point, kind of there's there's a sort of realism to that dream but anything else i wanted to be a fighter pilot some people laugh at that oh that's enough that's you know, unrealistic <laughs> especially i'm in canada so um our we don't have a lot of planes let's put it that way and right now as i'm shooting this video really really come here come here you can jump over that Wow, yeah, just, yeah, take your time. Yeah, come on, come on, up here. There you go. All right, good girl. I don't know what she's complaining about. Oh, oh yeah, okay, have a seat. Here, sit down. Face the camera, be nice, don't be rude. All right, very good. All right, so yeah, I want to be a fighter pilot and that. And it's like one of those things where um, you grow up saying you want to do this, that, and the other. You want to follow your dreams. And if it's your dreams, you're probably actually good at it. Probably. You'd be better off doing that than flipping burgers, you know. No offense to anybody that loves flipping burgers. But, I mean, it's not... Whose dream job is that? So if it's not, like, amazing, 
and something you want to do, you're not going to be good at it, or it's not going to, it's not going to motivate you to carry on, right, into like um, being a professional at that. So it's like your parents, oh come on, stop dreaming, wake up, you know what I mean? Um, you know, do something realistic. Uh, why, why don't you be, and then, then all the great ideas come out, right? Why don't you be an accountant? Or because you're on your computer all day, right? It'd be like, why, why don't you take computers? Why don't you do something with computers? They don't know shit about computers. And because they're marveled at how you can turn on a computer and seemingly pull information from and like nowhere, they're like, wow, you can do that? That's amazing. You should do that for a living. But the only reason why you're doing that is because there's stuff on the computer that's interesting. It's not the computer itself. Computers are the most annoying pieces of shit that are out there. They don't even work properly. And it's like there's so much bloatware and things you don't even need and pop-ups now. Oh, my God. Before, it used to be super simple. Now it's like Windows 10 or whatever. And those of you on Apple computers, you know, good for you. Lucky bastards. But those of us that can't afford that stuff would be like using regular PCs. And it's just absolute garbage on there right now. And you can't even tell it to do something without it talking back. So it's like, oh, I want to close this window or this program. Uh, and then a pop-up will come up. Are you sure you want to close that? Uh, yes. Are you sure that you pressed yes to close this? It's like, just do what I tell you. You stupid machine. And woo, out, out the window right into the pool kind of thing I hate it's a love-hate relationship with computers or any sort of technology need it it's necessary evil right but then because you can manage that somehow uh, or you can't pay someone else to do the work for you although some people you know they finally pawn off that stuff so that they can do the fun stuff right so it's called like delegating or hiring staff to do stuff or outsourcing. Always a good idea if you have a profession that you want to focus on and you don't want to divert your attention away from your actual craft and what you want to do. Then delegate or pay, just pay someone else to do it so that you can put your time in. <laughs> that dog. Oh, she's so high demand. Uh, Got to give equal rights to the uh, female dogs. Bollocks. I'll be right back. Oh. Alright, I'm back. Because when nature calls, you gotta pick up. It's as simple as that. Right, little girl? Alright. <laughs> Okay, where was I? Oi, don't touch that, get your own. Just saying if he's limping. Anyways, um, the gimpy dog. Where was I? Oh, we're talking about people telling you what to do in life or how to, <laughs> how to be successful. Usually from people that aren't successful or people, I, I don't even get it, successful. <laughs> successful people telling you like how to be successful like they would know if you're successful once here's what I do know if it works for you doesn't mean it'll work for anyone else it doesn't even mean it'll work for you a second time because all the variables everything in life that happened in order to make that first success come about the timing of it the people where Jupiter was in the solar system, all these things come together in order to have that one event which will consider success, okay? So whatever that is, so say you want to have your own successful company or make a certain amount of money per year or beat cancer or whatever. People, the human mind itself is, it's designed to assess what is going on and how something something has occurred and has happened. So we analyze this and say, okay, I can see that this success came about because this came to here and this person was there and I happened to do this at this time. Okay, so there's your picture. Now we think that that's an actual template because 
we didn't we don't see with our senses so limited our senses all the other moving parts that were orchestrated in reality to actually make those things that we did see happen and may never happen again so uh for me to like say okay well i've got like a successful youtube channel there is a battle going on in the background you don't you don't want to know and uh, so if I have a successful YouTube channel or someone else has it, I can't tell you how to, well, I can tell you whatever I want, but I wouldn't be able to say, this is how I did it and this is how you can get successful. You'd try it and you'd be like, this is bullshit, uh, you're crap, this doesn't work and you'd be right, obviously it wouldn't work, right? You'd get the result. Oi, you stop that. So the other thing is like, anybody that says, oh man, you, you can do it this way and that, and then at the very end, they'll be like, and hard work. Oh, thanks. So if hard work, any time the word work is added into anything you're talking about, forget it. You've already lost. Because there's, there's not going to be, the motivation will have to be manufactured by you. It'll have to be manufactured. Because you're not going to be self-motivated. You'll have to have a reason for it. And for most people, what motivates them when it's not something they're actually passionate about or interested in is fear. And fear will never lead you into anything you really want. It'll never feed, lead you to success. It'll, it's handy when you're being chased by a bear or you're like, hmm, walking across that branch, across that icy cold river might be a bad idea. That's a healthy fear. That's what it's for. But it's not for us making decisions on how to be successful. You got to make that based on on being passionate about something. Because if you have passion, wait, well, hey, I, hey, I, hey. if you have passion about something, you'll do it anyways, and it's not even going to be work. So, biggest thing here, like I'm doing this. This is work to someone else. To me, it's not a big deal. I'll just come in my basement and be like, my camera set up, got my little uh, lights on. I almost did want to do that, but I said if I'm going to bother doing this at all I might as well do it right and it's it's not a big deal to me but to someone else that's trying like hey you should make say he's unemployed or, or whatever they're just kind of down and out or it's like uh, you live in your mom's basement or whatever and you're like somebody tells you your friend's successful they have a great page or you, you see on YouTube or whatever somebody else is like making cabbage for seemingly nothing so you're like I'm gonna give that a go because why you and not me valid question why you and not me it's because that person's following their passion and you're gonna mimic that because you see how a b and c laid out so you're gonna just follow the same pattern but that doesn't guarantee and very rarely will it actually give you yield you the same result even if the same person started over today how many of those people will be like okay like if pewdiepie is like the most famous most popular youtube youtuber out there Let's say he uh, shut his channel down, changed his face, got like a plastic surgery done and started over. Do you think he would have the same level of success today doing the exact same formula like he did when he started? He'd know how to do it. He'd know how he got there because he'd have the history. He'd have the experience. But I think it's not impossible, but highly improbable that he would get the same success as he did. Now he might have more probability than somebody that didn't have the experience at all. So he's got the confidence behind him like, well I did it once, I'll do it again. And maybe the only thing that would get him to be successful again would be that he's hopefully still passionate about it. Although I've seen some of his stuff because I'm like, well what's everybody on about with this guy? And so I'll check it out and I'll be like, this guy's doing nothing. And so maybe he's lost the plot today and he's just doing stuff because you know what it's a paycheck uh, sometimes when you're doing stuff because you're passionate about it so say you're like a up-and-coming athlete football player hockey player as a kid you do it because you love it right you do it for free and there's a lot of people professionally that would still do it today that are passionate and they do it for free but they're getting paid big big money to do something that you and I and them would do for free you know they'd actually pay to do it we do we got fees membership fees and stuff they, they they get paid big money and that's because they they follow the pa the passion of it they love it they do it for free and that's what everybody needs to do is they need to be doing stuff 
just fault wherever that direction is. I just do it something that you would do or you would even pay to do and then you'll never fail because the work and effort that goes into it won't be work and effort and it'll just be effortless and time will fly and everything and that's how you know you're doing it right and if you don't demand anything of it Rio get out of there oi hey stop it if you don't demand anything of it like you don't care about achieving a goal you're just enjoying the process then you're you're more likely to carry on through but you have to be if you don't have the passion for it you're not going to achieve anything especially if it if on the outside it looks like you do require a lot of work or it's going to take a lot of effort you don't even have a chance you don't have a hope somebody says yeah you got to put out a, a video every day to make it that's one person's opinion i'm sure there's people that have uh like four videos on their channel over the course of like three years and you get one video that just goes viral now they're, they're set and somebody else could have like a thousand videos and have no views you know uh, it's, <laughs> it doesn't have to be fair but start looking at the examples like that the little data points and then you will you will actually see the pattern which the mind is good at is putting patterns and putting things into groups that's why we like to put things into groups thanks Dexter um, and that's what we're good at but we're not good at predicting the future and that includes trying to predict how things have happened in the past and then therefore projecting it into the future and then us following that path as if it's laid out like we're on rails like we're a train on rails it doesn't work that way so the future's kind of blind and it's in flux and it's always kind of opening up in front of you go with it whatever that is at the moment that's all i do and that's all this my channel is about is about whatever the next most exciting thing i'll film i don't even care what the topic is i've got a wide range of hobbies and stuff that i'm interested in and uh just general interests like physics, quantum physics, uh, law of attraction stuff. Don't really like using that word, law of attraction. Um, guitars, motorbikes, firearms, all kinds of fun stuff like that. Um, healthcare, I, professional healthcare. Uh, that's what I do for a living, and um, at least for <laughs> for now. And yeah, whatever comes to mind is going to be what comes up. Check out, check out Rio over here. Oh my god, there's a monster under there. What are you doing? Do you, you got something to say to the people before you start your own channel? No, it's like, oh, is there any, anything interesting to smell? Right? Is there anything interesting to smell, my friend? Oh, it's getting intimidated by the camera. Oh. So I think I droned on enough. The key to everything, here's the uh, truth dart right now, is follow your passion, follow your excitement as far as you can. And then when you're confused, you can't follow that anymore. Next thing, whatever that is. I used to, um, well, I'll say here's a quick story, but this is important stuff, right? It's like we, um, sharing these little experiences might give you insight into um, the next move you wanna do with your life, right? To make it more exciting. It doesn't have to be nine to five, you know, doing, I've done the boring crap where you're like, I'm doing something they could pay a monkey to do. And you feel like you're wasting your life it's just so sad, so sad. And you just want to shoot yourself in the face, basically. And you'd be like, that'd be all right. Probably be a, a good thing, right? But um, yeah, follow your passion. And the real key, the real key, and this is what a lot of people that they follow like the law of attraction, but they don't understand it. They're so desperate to make it work. And that's why it'll never work for them. And if you're passionate about something, you have to be passionate about being passionate. That's usually the, the thing that people miss the most. You have to motivate yourself 
some because you know some days you're like okay i want to do videos for youtube i'm gonna keep using this example because you're watching this and there might be like somebody that wants to maybe do this sort of thing or put up their interests which then i'll watch because i'll you know i love watching videos and stuff like that. that's that kind of it's that age isn't it it's the video age internet video age and so if i want to do something um like these videos i can't I can't just do them here and there. If I say I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, and I'm passionate about it, then I have to do it on a regular basis. And maybe sometimes when I don't feel like doing it, and then encourage myself. Like I didn't necessarily, when I was doing this video, I didn't necessarily say, "Oh, okay, it's eight o'clock. I gotta do it, or whatever." I'm kind of going downstairs. I was doing something else anyway. I'm like, my stuff's not set up, and I said I would. I said I would do these more of these video logs, and. I was lying to myself because I wasn't doing them. So that's a self-motivation right there. Get passionate about being passionate. I said I'd do it. I, if I'm going to commit, I'm going to, you know, go, go, you know, tits out on it. So that's what this is about. I set up the camera, did the extra effort because that was being passionate. I was proving it to myself physically and mentally that yeah, I'm in it. I'm doing it. And that's I think what people are missing when they are trying to create their life and i mean a uh, successful exciting life worth living when they follow their dreams so all the way back to the beginning where people kind of don't do that dream because that i can't perceive how you will be successful doing that so obviously you shouldn't do that because if you do that, if you follow your dream and become successful, then I'm the idiot. Because I told you not to, and I was fearful, so birds of a feather, if you're, uh, if you're a loser, you don't want your loser friends to all of a sudden become successful, because then you get left behind. And that is probably the worst feeling, and for people being successful, <clears throat> some of them like parents and that, feel obligated to bring their friends with them and no one's obligated to anyone it's you don't want to be selfish you don't want to appear selfish because maybe you're a good person and you're not really you're selfish because you're trying to take care of yourself but isn't it selfish for other people to ask stuff of you like why aren't you helping me or don't do that because what about me so you, like guilting you into not doing something that's the very definition of selfish so those of you that are doing it following your dreams watching this big thumb up um just help each other up you know what i mean if you get up there pick each other up and maybe you don't have to do it for profit i see all these ads and stuff like oh man i did it you can but it's all bullshit make pave your own success story and it starts with your passion and it's fueled by you being passionate about your passion. So I think I'll leave it there because that's really, that's the most powerful thing I could tell you and maybe the, the biggest thing you'll hear in your life. Big up! All right, so um, thanks for watching me drone off. You made it this long. Oh, God bless. And um, if you want to hear more droning on about nothing and everything at the same time, subscribe, like, and all that fun stuff. I hit the little bell symbol somewhere because apparently you don't get notified if you don't hit that if you're a subscriber because YouTube is constantly growing and evolving and becoming dumb. So, no, I don't mean that. YouTube, you're amazing. Uh, support me. <laughs> right? Okay, have a good night.